So the most common risk factors for cancer really depend on the cancer type. So uh, if you're talking about breast cancer, for example, age actually is a very common risk factor, uh, excessive hormone exposure through your life. Um, if you talk about things like lung cancer, we start thinking about patient smoking history or asbestos exposure. Family history is a big risk factor. So if you have family members in your family that have had different types of cancer, that might qualify you for genetic testing to determine your risk. But then there's also environmental factors for cancer risk. So healthy diet and exercise can go a long way at reducing cancer risk. So a lot of things uh, go back to somebody's general lifestyle and, and health, and, and some things are things beyond our control, such as just getting older. Some cancers you can prevent and some you cannot. Okay, if a patient has a genetic abnormality in their DNA, it's harder to prevent cancer than if they don't have it. However, if we want to give ourselves the best chance to not end up with malignancies, we have to look at the things, our personal habits, that can increase it. Trying to avoid smoking, uh, trying to eat healthfully, uh, avoiding excessive red meat exposure can be very helpful. Exercise is a huge component of reducing cancer risk. Uh, the recommendation is 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week. Uh, trying to eat a diet rich in vegetables uh, is certainly very helpful, and then trying to get exercise on a daily basis. Preventing cancer is a tricky thing to do, but you can always make decisions in your lifestyle to help reduce your risk of cancer. Exercise is helpful, it will lower risk because we're going to decrease our, hopefully our body fat and decrease our, our weight, so it's helpful concerning that. Plus, patients that are active and um, are healthy if they do develop cancer, they're usually able to tolerate the treatments much better with less fatigue and less complications. So what foods prevent cancer is a very good question. And it's not necessarily specific foods, it's more kind of your overall diet that we look at. Now there are foods we wanna make sure you're focusing on, because it does help to kind of reduce your risk to make sure you're eating more of certain foods than others. So those would be our plant foods, and that doesn't just mean like fruits and vegetables, it also includes nuts and seeds and whole grains and beans. So I wanna make sure you're eating more of those plant foods, but also including other foods as well, kind of limiting some types of foods. We wanna make sure you're kind of limiting processed meats and too much added sugars, those kinds of things that we know don't really provide us many nutrients, they're just kind of more treats for us. So early signs of cancer is really going to vary by disease type, but, but certainly you can think about general things. If you're losing weight and you weren't trying to, that certainly can be a, a sign that something's wrong. Uh, if you're having fevers, chills, night sweats, you know, where you're kind of getting the sheets wet every night, those would be things to cause some alarm. Um, excessive cough, coughing up blood, or having a mass somewhere, you know, or, or having any blood coming from, uh, say, your bottom. You know, those things can all be concerning things that we wouldn't expect to see in a normal patient. Uh, and we'd encourage you to see a primary care doctor to get that checked out. Cancer can be detected in a variety of ways. Imaging is often needed to look at the area in question, but a biopsy is almost always necessary to have a diagnosis. 